this this may be one of the worst gaming stories I've ever covered. What is going on, you wonderful thought-having people? As always, I'm Jake from Give It Thought, where you come to get the most scandalous gaming news. And, uh, it's a little bit hard for me to be upbeat about this because it is such an injustice. Let's just hope this is all a hoax and can all be forgotten. So without further ado, let's get right into it. According to a Reddit user named Crytek Throwaway, the gaming developer Crytek has not paid him or her, the post wasn't clear on gender details, not that it matters, but the Reddit user is claiming that Crytek has not paid their employees for up to six months. The heartbreaking post begins with, I'm not sure where else to turn at this point. This has happened in the past a few times, but never for this long. Management never gives anyone a heads up, and it isn't clear to me if they are getting paid or even informed from the owners. So this employee is so in the dark about his payment schedule that he doesn't even know if the higher ups are getting paid themselves or if they are even aware of the reason why payment is not going to the employees. Sadly, according to the Reddit user, this is not the first time this has happened. The post continues, the last time this happened we were told it would be the last time and yet it is happening again. Many of the co-workers moved from out of the country to work here and are unable to leave because they cannot afford to get back home due to their wages being withheld for so long. Gosh, how horrible is that? Programmers and coders moved to Germany where the studio is based to work on the critically acclaimed Crisis franchise or one of their other projects and are now stuck with no wages. That's not the end of the post though. Continuing, people are afraid to speak out because we are continuously told thank you for your continued efforts through this difficult time and you don't understand because you don't see the whole picture like we do. Wages are coming soon. Apparently not though because the post says there was a meeting a few months ago and assured everyone that the issue was finally fixed and there should be no more problems. That is not the case. People are still working without pay. So the problem is persisting for these poor souls. Again, I want to say this post has not been verified, so let's be optimistic and just hope it is some troll. The thing is, this is not the first time a Crytek office has been found guilty of doing something like this. As the post even says, this isn't just here in Germany, this is in all our offices as far as I can tell. Back in 2014, Crytek UK was shut down after many employees left the company, claiming they went through long periods of time without pay. It even happened in the US too. And guess what? The reason the employees left that Austin, Texas based studio was, surprise surprise, long periods of time without pay. And as of right now, and this report has been verified so we know this one is true, the developers at Crytek Black Sea have gone over three months without pay. The employees there were told something eerily similar to that of the Reddit user which is that the problem would be resolved via a German bank loan a month and a half ago. However, this has not come through yet and there is no timescale as to if or when this will happen. Meanwhile, Crytek Black Sea Studios in Bulgaria is up for sale according to the source, so this may have something to do with the lack of pay. Maybe when the sale goes through the employees will get their dues, but I may be being overly optimistic. Unfortunately, all this evidence leads me to conclude that the post is real, but I would love to be convinced otherwise. Crytek's most recent game was the VR title Robinson the Journey, which is an exploration game featuring dinosaurs where you play as the survivor of a spaceship crash and after which you are tasked with exploring an unknown planet. It has been recently trashed for only being around 5 hours long, but received generally pretty well. But I just wanted to get this news out there that Crytek employees are not being paid. I normally don't ask you to do this, but be sure to share this video so we can get the word out. For some reason, most of the bigger outlets are not covering this story and I don't know why. So be sure to tell me what you think about this. Is this just a hoax or do you see it as some form of game development slavery? Be sure to tell me your thoughts on this down below. And I think that's where I'm going to end this video. If you enjoyed this video, you know what you have to do. Hit that like button for me and if you're new here, you have to subscribe. I put out a new video every single day and if you want to be caught up on all the latest gaming news, you gotta hit that subscribe button. And while you're here, why not check out yesterday's video? It was all about some Ubisoft executives being fined over $1 million because they played the stock market using insider trading. So if you're interested in that, go check that video out. But I think that's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching and remember, give thought to everything.